September is National Recovery Month. Julie Hockley from the Addictions Foundation of Manitoba joining us now to talk a little bit more about the addictions and about the educational components that are available for everybody out there in the community. Good morning. Good morning. So first of all, let's talk about the month as a whole, Recovery Month. What's the, what's the goal of that? Well, uh, at AFM, we're somewhat familiar with it. Um, our understanding is that it began in the U.S. and it moved its way here to Canada a couple of years ago. Um, basic messaging is that education for the public is very important in breaking down the stereotypes, negative stereotypes that are attached to addiction, um, that treatment is effective and that people can and do recover. Let's talk about some of those misconceptions or some of those stereotypes that are connected with addictions. Sure. Um, there's multiple, multiple misconceptions. Um, unfortunately, they lend themselves to negative stereotypes related to folks who are struggling with addiction. Uh, I guess one of the main um, uh, misconceptions is that um, somebody struggling with addictions um, can simply stop, um, stop their substance use or problem gambling behavior without any support or, or any treatment. Um, if somebody was um, dealing with diabetes, we would expect them and support them in going to a doctor. Um, we should offer that same courtesy for our, our clients who are struggling with addiction to seek support and treatment. And it's so much more complex than, than one might think. You kind of touch on it there. Well, why can't you just stop? Stop drinking, stop gambling, stop doing whatever you're doing. But it's not that simple. It isn't that simple. Um, the AFM, we, um, we subscribe to uh, an addiction model that is looking at the person as a whole, so bio, psycho, social, spiritual. We know that so many factors are uh, weighing in on why somebody becomes addicted. So tell us about the educational program that it's offered and it's available to everyone in the community. Yes, yes, we have um, various courses that are available. Um, a great option for somebody who is working with somebody who is um, living with addiction or for anybody who just wants to learn more. Um, lots of different courses. One of the biggest resources that we have um, is the Knowledge Exchange Center and it's located at 1031 Portage here in, in Winnipeg. Um, can also be accessed through our website various books and articles and media that anyone can borrow, um, anybody in the public can borrow. How about resources? If, if you have a loved one that you might be worried about or something just doesn't seem to be quite right, where can you turn for help? Well, um, the AFM, we offer education and counselling for family members and friends who are affected by somebody else's addiction. Um, and what we try and do is focus on um, giving them the opportunity to look at what addiction has meant to them in their lives, how they can improve their own lives um, and make choices for themselves. Um, a couple of really good resources too are uh, two toll-free lines that AFM operates, the Provincial Addiction Adult Addiction Information Line and the 24-hour Problem Gambling Helpline for folks who are either struggling with addiction or those who need help to um, support somebody else in their life who is struggling. You kind of talked about there, well one person may be suffering, it's a domino effect, everybody in that that person's life could feel the effects of addiction. Yes, it's possible. Well, we'll put the links up for the Addictions Foundation of Manitoba up on breakfasttelevision.ca. You can learn more about the educational programming that's ongoing throughout the entire year, constantly new courses coming up, and about those resources for help if need be. Thank you so much. Julie. Thank you very much. More BT coming up. Stick with us. And I see